number of coronavirus patients. Stay at home guidelines have been extended. Today, the USNS Comfort is due to dock in New York Harbor. You know that the double ring rate of this virus is very high. To Michigan now, where the number of coronavirus cases is doubling nearly every three days. As the COVID-19 pandemic spreads, No Dogs Left Behind continues its rescue operations. While the March 23rd emergency response mission continued, on March 28th, NDLB was alerted to another emergency situation in Chengdu, more than a thousand kilometers away. This is outside of a local restaurant in Sanlian, Chengdu. Activists confronted the butcher, but were aggressively chased off. An NDLB emergency dispatch came to the rescue. The butcher did not have the correct livestock certificates. With this leverage, NDLB was able to negotiate the release of the dogs. Meanwhile, more than a thousand kilometers away, the dogs from the March 23rd rescue have completed their initial vetting and are being transported from the Allied shelter to the No Dogs Left Behind Gongyi Refuge. Transport protocols take every precaution to ensure that the crates are stable and that the dogs are safe. Wounded dogs are loaded into the transport first. With the truck loaded, the team sets off to the Gong Yi Refuge. The shelter staff and members of the emergency response team sterilize kennels before the dogs are moved. This is what the dogs looked like while still in the hands of the dog traffickers. Victory! The dogs are paraded in to the next stop on the road to adoption. Every single one of these dogs was on the brink of death. They were diseased, crammed into cages, and covered in filth as butchers' blades and twisted appetites sought to rob them of their lives. At the Gongyi Refuge, the dogs' mental and physical wounds will begin to heal. The dogs will be microchipped, vaccinated for rabies, canine distemper virus, and canine parvovirus, tested for brucellosis, treated for worms, fleas, and ticks, and cataloged for their weight and size. The first order of business for each new guest is a fresh meal. Dog traffickers and government shelters rarely provide the dogs with adequate nutrition, and smaller dogs are bullied out of their meals. Here is a quick look at some of the dogs at the Gongyi Refuge. Now for the next task, the team will verify documentation and show off each dog. Have a look at some of the newest members of the NDLB family.
Meanwhile, more than a thousand kilometers away, the dogs of the March 28th rescue from the Chengdu restaurant have arrived at the Dayi refuge base. Here, they will undergo the same strict protocols applied uniformly across all NDLB operations. Judging by their behavior, they were all owner surrenders, rejected from their homes due to the false fear that pets may carry the coronavirus.